Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpios. <laughs> love the Scorpios. Let's dive into love for Scorpios. Let's see what's in the heart for Scorpios now. Scorpios, I'm going to be using my Rider Waite Tarot. Okay, using my Black Moon Astrology cards for clarity. We're wrapping up with the Wisdom of the Oracle. Okay, for advice for you all. And this is for single Scorpios, coupled Scorpios. We're going to be looking at your partner, your couple. We're going to be looking at past relationships if you're single, could be possible ex, someone you're thinking about, and future love if you're single as well. Okay, um, and lastly, this is for Scorpio placements, heavy um, in Scorpio rising, Scorpio moon, Scorpio sun especially. So, diving in, Scorpio, where are we at? Where is Scorpio spirit for the highest good of all? Where is Scorpio? Okay, okay. Things are not really wrapped up when it comes to a certain situation. Okay, I feel like Scorpio could be um, disrespected. I heard just heard disrespected. Um, I heard, who do you think I am? Okay, there's a test of your respect. So, you most likely were not respecting yourself enough, maybe at the start of the year into last year as well. And Spirit is having to send in relationships or a certain situation to bring in a new assessment of who you are. Okay? Because if you disrespect the Scorpio, it's something different coming out. Okay? There's a re reclamation of their power. Many times Scorpios have to be disempowered to come to a new place of power. Okay? Also, Scorpio, I live in New York. So, you're going to hear the train. It is pretty loud today. It's like an extra loud day. I don't know what's going on. But I want to get the message out to you all. So, um... Um, yeah, the Five of Cups coming as well, the Five of Swords, a lot of disappointment, okay? Um, you can feel like maybe this could even be a breakup, a loss, okay, um, of a relationship, ending of a relationship, okay? Or because, this is giving as well, because of just the, the dating pool, single Scorpios could be like, I am not really excited about what I'm seeing, okay? I feel like I've lost out, Okay. This could also be for Scorpios um, feeling a bit of um, this loss, you know, that has happened, or this could even be grieving someone, okay, that has passed away. And still working through things, okay, but Spirit is saying there is new hope, there is, it's not the end of the story, okay, it's time to reset the mind, have a new mindset, a new, a new way of thinking about this, a new perspective on this, okay. If you're in situations where the cycle keeps repeating as well, with the Five of Swords can be repeating cycles coming out of disappointment. Okay? A new way of thinking about these things can help out with the Page of Swords. Okay? Um, I just heard recently, um, if you got today what you said you were grateful for yesterday, what would you have? Okay? Right? So tomorrow, if you received only what you were acknowledged today, you were grateful for, what would you have tomorrow, okay? And so really taking the time to we can get very focused and zoomed in on the disappointments in life where things are not working. And Spirit is asking us to move forward with, okay, take acknowledgement of that, but you have other options. Things may have fallen, but there's still other things there. This is not a total loss energy I'm seeing, okay? Yeah, Spirit is asking, can we see more light in the situation, the sun card in reverse? We're looking a lot at, there's a lot of darkness coming in toward the out, okay? Spirit is looking for new passion. They're offering, there's new things coming in, new passion, new opportunities for you all. But first, we've got to get the, out of the cloudiness, okay? Uh, many times we want things in our external environment to shift, but when we make it shift, that actually will change the frequency. Okay. Um, Scorpio, remember who you are, this situation. This is a card of desperation, in my opinion, with the Seven of Swords, taking desperate action in a place of lack. This is, these two do not, they're not synonymous. Okay? The Nine of Pentacles is someone that knows slow and steady with the snail. They have been growing and are deserving of all the fruits of their um, efforts. The seven of, the seven of Swords is taking what he can get. Okay? He's not much thinking about what his worth is. He's feeling that he does not have, so he is trying to gain and control a situation out of a place of lack. The Nine of Pentacles is very much able to relax, knowing that she is deserving. Let's get some advice with the Oracle cards. 
some clarity, five of swords, five of cups situation. Okay, because the blessings are not seeming that things are changing, there's a loss in the willpower, loss in confidence, loss in vitality for Scorpios when it comes to situations in the heart. Spirit is advising healing, okay? And Spirit, through healing, is it going to be coming through this new perspective, this new optimism, clarity with the healing card? Yes, desire, new passions, okay? But this card talks about you have to burn the past away first to get these new starts. What needs to be released, okay? What what new way of looking at the past can help to move you forward, okay? You will not continue to be in upset. But first, we got to look at the way we are looking at ourselves and life, okay? The things you're attracting of because of how you feel about yourself. So let's upgrade that and then see what comes in. Let's get clarity on the Nine of Pentacles with the Seven of Swords. The message is, what are you telling yourself, okay? Capricorn is very much kind of can be very hard on yourself. Okay, well, you need to make this work. Or I need to make this. <clears throat> to receive love, you need to be love. Okay. And it's really when things get mysterious with the Lilith card. And also with that Lilith card coming in, it's talking about deep, deep fears even of unworthiness. You need to look at those. Okay. Let's look at partnership for Scorpio. So Scorpio, if you want a deeper reading, I can't. This is going to be, I can't go super, super deep in this one. If you want a deeper reading, check the description box below. Four readings. I offer love readings. I offer all kind of readings, and it is going to include astrology and numerology as well, and even more of an open, open channeled message. Let's get into the partnership. If you're a couple, this is your partner. If you're single, this could be your ex you're thinking about, or this could be the new love coming in. Where are they at? Well, everybody is losing hope. The star card in reverse. Okay, because things are taking longer than expected. They could be in a work situation. They're losing faith in being able to change that situation out. They're trying to make more money, okay? And they are, um, you know, struggling with trying to find the best way to move forward, losing hope, okay? Um, when this comes to an ex, they, they are looking for a way to offer new insight. They want to reach back out and try new things. They don't have the hope that they'll be able to offer what you are wanting, and for some, the new love coming in, if you are single without that ex, this is definitely giving work struggles and um, losing hope in their trajectory moving forward. Okay. Yeah, Ace of Swords in reverse. That, that mindset, that fresh mind is not coming because the Eight of Wands came in reverse. Life is moving and feeling kind of monotonous okay, for them. Things are moving slow. <laughs> this is also saying an ex, they're not going to be able to continue the momentum of the new starts, if they're coming back and offering things, they, 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 they're more wishing, hoping, and dreaming, and not really going to be able to apply any concrete progress, okay? It's giving, don't take them back, okay? Um, new love, this is giving that they're going through a lot of needing introspection with the hermit, okay? To find the light within. Both of you have similar energy for advice. Healing and finding the light within, shining light on dark situations to find the benefits of those situations so that you can move forward okay, and not get stuck in the past. One more card for your partner. The lovers in reverse. Oh, Lord. Aquarius got the similar energy. No, I'm sorry. Gemini. Okay. Um, and this is this imbalance. Okay. Uh, with, and this could be Gemini, Scorpio, it could be in partnership with Gemini energy, Scorpio energy, okay? Meaning to both find more optimism within. A lot of relationship situations come from, actually, disharmony is because of what's going on inside, and there's a lot of feeling of lack with this five of pentacles from them, especially. This is money struggles as well for them. But they need to see more in themselves. North Node Life's Purpose came in reverse, okay? So this is not, they're not in alignment. Just made a video about if you're in alignment or not. So this low frequency mindset is keeping them out of their purpose. And abundance. Jupiter in reverse. Okay. Continue. Jupiter is the planet of abundance, but it's also a planet of belief, faith, and optimism. So there needs to be that shift to receive. Shift in the spiritual happens first to receive in the physical. Yeah, they're not able to see the way forward. Sagittarius rules over Jupiter. Okay, the vision, the optimism, the hope. Okay missing they're getting stuck in analyzing what is not working now let's look at the relationship itself okay for a couple um couple scorpios this is your partner okay 
for um, single Scorpios, this is a looking, looking for love, not from the past. Looking for love, this is what's the process, what's going on to bring us to you. And if you're looking at thinking about an ex situation, we're going to look into that as well. Wow, you literally pulled the same card for relationship as Libra. Justice and fairness. I mean, we do have this eclipse in Libra coming up in October to bring justice and harmony and new starts in love and relationships. So know that's on the table. There's a lot of new starts coming. Okay, But we have to be courageous to leave what we're comfortable with to get to these amazing things that we want for ourselves with the King of Pentacles there. Okay? But with the Eight of Cups, it can talk about courage to leave and move forward, to do something different this time. Trusting the journey, okay? And not getting stuck in the process and how it might not look the best. When pruning your, when you're pruning a plant, it doesn't look like it's going to get to the journey, the destination. You just cut it back, okay? It's like having hair and then cutting the ends, the dead ends, okay? Um, so that it can be new and clean moving forward. It can bring new, better growth. Yeah, because if things were to continue, it would not be compassionate with the Knight of Cups in reverse. Uh, emotions would not be getting met, okay? Needs, emotional needs, not getting met. Okay? Reciprocity not there, Six of Pentacles. Okay. The Spirit is saying with the Four of Cups, the option, the, the you could be thinking that things are uh, not going to change, but it's going to be coming from an internal job, from both sides. More focusing on the self, feeling the self will bring harmony. Yeah, you could be questioning a lot of what's going on because you're not able to flow and surrender because it's not looking how you thought. Okay? It's weird to think about what is that? Let's try to be more flexible. Okay? And imagine the way forward. Okay. That is what I have. Scorpios, I hope that helps out if you want more. Um, again, you can get a reading with me. The description box is below. Oh, it's clearly, but the information is below in the description box. Okay. Thank you so much. Much love. Scorpio, I'll talk to you later.